Welcome to Marriage and Life Stories with Kansi Me. And uh, today we have a very exciting uh, topic of discussion. And I chose this topic specifically because it touches most of us. And the topic is living in harmony with in-laws. Now, in-laws are a very big subject. Uh, we have mothers-in-law, we have daughters-in-law, we have sons-in-law, we have all sorts of in-laws around us. And in most cases, we find ourselves in positions where the relationship is either too good to be true. You get married and the mother treats you like a daughter, and the father treats you like a son, and the sisters-in-law treat you like a real sister. And you know, you are just everything good in that in-law setting. In fact, it ceases to be in-law and it turns out as in love. People call their mothers mothers in love, daughters in love, sisters in love, and the relationship is really good. We will look into, uh, can I call them ideas, basics, and uh, foundations that can cause this relationship to be instead of an in-law, it becomes an in-love. Then there is the other side of the in-laws, which turns out to be a, a dreadful scene, you know? A mother-in-law turns out to be a monster-in-law. A sister-in-law turns out to be, you know, something that you cannot stand. And in such relationships, of course, the marriage between the two individuals is deeply affected. It gets on the rock, and then it gets on a harder rock, and eventually it crashes down. So what can we do to make our living with hateful in-laws better and to make living with the, the good in-law in -law that we call in-loves excellent so that our marriages can be blissful, enjoyable, and uh, very successful. Remember, the relationship with in-laws has such a big impact on the children that will come in that relationship. Some children will feel the heat, the pressure, the hate that comes from hateful in-laws, while others will feel the love and the confidence and the strength that uh, emanates from the in-laws that are very supportive. In fact, in-laws, hateful in-laws and uh, loving in-laws do not only stop at uh, building a, a healthy or a bad relationship, their relationship in that family will affect totally. It will affect the health condition of that spouse. Take an example of a lady who is mistreated in the home for one reason or the other. And uh, her health, her health, her pregnancy, the, the way she, she heals from childbirth will be totally different from a lady who is loved and pampered and treated so well during that childbirth, during the time she's carrying a pregnancy, the words that are spoken to both ladies will either build them into healthy individuals or will break them into uh, weak and sickly, irritated and uh, frustrated individuals. With me to discuss this topic uh, uh, about uh, living in harmony with in-laws is Mrs. Jessica Tushemerire. She is an accomplished member of Mother's Union. She is a teacher. She is a hard-working lady. My, you just need to be in her home. Then, uh, you know, every time I come to her house, I feel so inadequate. It is really so organized. It is a peaceful environment. And every time, I, I just envy. The, the people that will marry in her home because she is just so ready to love and to shower so much love and, 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 to, and to spoil them. Jessica Tshemerire, she will talk much more about herself. Welcome with me, the lady on the show. Welcome, Jessica, to Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime. And uh, we are discussing generally how we can live very well with in-laws and uh, you, you must be aware that a healthy relationship with the in-laws has so much to do with the health of the lady. And apparently it's ladies who are always affected in this relationship. 
and maybe some gentlemen, you know, they get married to this home, they marry from this home, and they are maltreated from calling them poor if they are not having so much, for, to turning them into ATMs if they have so much, and you know, everyone is asking from them. And so the relationship can t end up turning very abusive or s suppressing, or it can also be blooming and you find this in-law has turned out to be uh, a member of the family. Now, I am fully aware you have been uh, a Mother's Union member, uh, you have also been key in uh, the counseling uh, ministry in, in, in the church setting. What, without mentioning names, what are those good and not so good experiences you can share with us, with the viewers, about the relationships that uh, you have observed or stories you have had? Uh, thank you, Grace. Thank you for inviting me to the show. Mm -hmm. The introduction is from the moon. Yes. I am even scared. It's, re it's a reality. Oh, I wish no. I can take people around and they look at this home. So yes, I'm Jessica Tushemerire from All Saints Chapel Reza, a member of Mother's Union and a member of Christian Women Fellowship. I am glad to be here uh, to discuss this topic that concerning, concerns home. As you all know very well, our, our objectives uh, move around the stable families. Yes, and, and relating with the in-laws, take us there. Yes. What happens in the homes as you, you mentor these young girls into marriage? I, 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 uh, in many homes, uh, the relationship is good, but mm. also in many homes, the relationship is poor, the relationship is poor between the in-laws, mm. both from the parents yes. to the sister-in-laws to the brother-in-laws. Mm. And it, from it, in all directions, it can be the wife married in the home, it can be the son who marries in the home. What are those things that girls do that cause these families they are married into to resent them? Many times these girls are told before they marry how mother-in-laws are bad, how they give instructions, That's very how they common. compete, how they want to rule their, the husband. So it, the girl comes with an attitude yes. before she even gets there, uh -huh. before she even reads with a person, she already has that. She's already on fighting mode activated. Exactly. Yes. With, with a gun already cocked. Mm. So that one, when you come with that attitude, Definitely, she will not have listen. Issues. Yes, mm. and uh, on the side of the boys, mm. the men usually keep quiet. Mm. They don't talk about it because in a home there is a way they are, they are, they are, their presence is is quiet. Mm. So usually, even if the friction is there, because we usually move from our home to the man's home, so we relate more with the man's relatives. So it's the women who suffer most. Most, yes. Now, what are those things that mothers in law do that get these girls to suffer and regret why they left their own homes? So before you marry this man, he's a son to someone. Mm -hmm. And this mother likes the son mm. and treats the son like a child. Of if course they have connected, you know, I even if it is me, if I think about the child that you know I bore in my womb and they cut this cord and we share so much, now someone coming to own this daughter will really have to do a lot of loving, loving me that mm. I will willingly mm. release this girl. Mm. So why don't some mothers release? The mothers of the boys, uh, for th they want to do it slowly. First of all, they don't trust this person who has just ah. come in. You did not go grow in the same yes. environment. Yes, you have your Their own. Their is different. Yes, you have your own things you treasure. She has all the own th her own things they treasure as a family. So you're coming in from another family, bringing different ideas. Mm -hmm. So it takes it puts resistance because this other home is is resisting accepting the change. Yes. 
And uh, many times, like I said, some girls come with an idea that your mother is in law is not good. So you come resenting the mother in law. Mm -hmm. Even the way you look at her, even the way you treat her, makes her makes the gap wider. Now the Waganda say instead of finding a mother in law you find the graves. You know? Now when someone comes with that attitude to the marriage, mm. I, I think the, the friction is going to be too big. And if that time for for the connection is not handled with a lot of patience, I guess there will never be connections. You're right, mm. you're right. Mm. Uh, what I, 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 I think the girls should do is that they should know that as much as they love their mothers, mm. these boys also love their mothers. Yes. So when you come to this home, treat this mother as your mother, yes. not as your competitor. Mm. Many times we want to compete Very with true. our mothers of our, our husbands. Yes. She wants to advise you because she knows how she's been in this marriage for yes. more years she's than you have she's been. been the, and she's the age of your mother. She tells you let's do things this way and you say she's ordering me around. She's not. She's advising like a parent would advise. Mm. And many times these mothers wish you well because they also want to see their sons stable. marriage stable mm. and successful. Mm. But because you have that attitude of she wants to order me around, so you resist. She when must you hand resist. over. Yes. I am now the wife of the house. You know, some ladies say, choose between me and your and your mother. Many times, girls do and that. And let me tell you, young ladies, the position of the mother in the life of that gentleman is number one because he can never have any other mother. And the position that you occupy of a wife, you are also number one because they are very different positions and the man has the same space for the two of you. Mm -hmm. So do not ask your husband to choose between you and the mother because you are both very important, very prime and very important in this relationship. And very different. And you, very you different. You play different roles. Now we are going for a, a short break and you will come and hear more from our guest Mrs. Tushemiriri how young, uh, the advice she will give to young ladies, how you can live peacefully with your with your in-laws and uh, if you it is the side of the parents in law how they can help these young ladies to adjust peacefully without so much friction see you after the break Welcome back to, uh, to our Marriage and Life Stories show where we were discussing uh, living in harmony with uh, our in-laws. Instead of calling them monsters-in-law, we can call them uh, mothers-in-love, we can call them sisters-in-love, we can call them brothers-in-love. And uh, we discussed about the challenges of fitting in and uh, the friction that comes when a new member has come in. Welcome uh, with me again, Mrs. Tushemirire, who is going to to highlight a few things that the young ladies can do to to settle in very well in the homes, and uh, what mothers can do to help these young ladies to settle in in the home. I must point out that getting married to the home, there must never be any competition. The spaces that this man has for the wife and for the lady, for, the, um, for his wife and for his mother are quite different. Now imagine yourself, you had this your son. If this boy is even one year old, five years old, think about someone coming in to relate so intimately with this young boy. You definitely will not just, you know, can you just give up someone to come and carry your baby? I remember at one time uh, the, my, I, I went away for a course and uh, I left my young child with a, a maid and my husband. And when I came, I found the maid was so attached to this girl. I was so jealous. I tried and the baby would tell me, you know, she's my mother and my mother is on the wall and then now this one is my mother. And she would refer to my picture as her mother who is not away. I felt so jealous. I had to ask this lady, peacefully to live 
so that I can bond with my own child. Now I imagine the relationship the mother and the son have had, and now the time that she has had with her mother has to be divided between the wife and her. Of course she will feel that little jealous. She, she doesn't trust anybody well enough to manage uh, the affairs of his son. Take us there. How will these girls take over, manage, and, uh, and still give that mother her honorable position? Yes, thank you. Thank you, Grace. My advice to the young women, and even the old ones that are already there, mm. is that have a positive attitude. Love these people mm. like you, you would love your parents. The way you love your mother is the way you should love this. Like that premeditated attitude that you mentioned, where they go with a fighting mode activated. They should go with a loving mode, mode yes. activated, yes. so that irrespective of what they find there, they are determined to love. love. Because at the end of the day, love wins. Even in the Bible, it's written there mm. that love, love wins. Yes. Mm. So love these people. Whatever they do to you, you do your work. Don't compete. Mm. Don't. Uh, uh, many times, some you love someone, and the person maybe doesn't love you back, or doesn't love you back the way you expected. Yes. I, I always tell people, you're not supposed when you're digging. You are in a rubimbi. Mm. You dig your side. Mm. You can advise the other person that you are digging badly, but you don't cross over to dig, to dig for, them. for them. Because when you dig for them, then yours will not be finished. Now, the mistake some girls make, they want to buy over these in-laws. You know, and they cannot sustain it. You wake up, she's buying gifts for this one, she's giving money to this one, and then talking about it. Money can never buy a relationship. The best thing you can be is to go as a child. Okay? Don't buy them off. Give the gifts because you want to give. But don't give because they want to love you. By the way, when you give gifts and the heart is not there, yes. it will be seen. It's it will visible. be seen. Because, you know, sometimes actions speak louder. So for you, give a gift, but what you're doing, mm. other things that you're doing, really, they will undo, undo gift the that gift you have given. I also encourage them to to pray. Mm. You pray when you if you think your 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 mother is in law or your sister in law is being difficult, mm. pray for them. Yes. Pray for them. Tell God mm. there's nothing that God cannot do. The mistake now that some young ladies make is when they find this relationship really not good, they run back to their homes discuss everything bad they have seen in this home. Now, after discussing with the people in the house, uh, of course, if, you, if, you, if your daughter tells you she's suffering, you tend to judge, to hate that family, mm -hmm. and you, you are not helping her to cope. And so, if someone has a, a bad relationship in the family, before you come back to, to, to bring this bad information to your house, first of all, pray. And then secondly, have one trusted elder that you can share with who is neutral, not your relative, who can advise you even where you have gone wrong. And by the way, there are things that we suffer because we have ignited bad fire against ourselves. Uh -huh. you, know, you do things and, and, and when you get the bad treatment, you think people are unfair. But if you are to check yourself, you realize that you caused a problem. Yes, in my culture, where I come from, when you're married in that home, before you run to your home, to your home, mm. you first get an elder from the family yes. and tell them what you're going through. Mm. Because your parents handed over you officially to, to the these elders. People. So get one of the elders, share with the elder what you're going through. And I believe the people who received you want you to have harmony in the mm -hmm. home. Because they want their home to be Happy. A comfortable home, mm -hmm. a happy home. Uh, we also have uh, an issue of uh, in African culture, you find that uh, maybe this young man is the eldest in the family, mm. so he has to take care of He's the sisters and the all the school the fees and the clothing of the family. Uh, what I advise the young girls to do is be patient. Mm. Be patient, 
just pray for God to provide, to provide. for those needs at a later time. They will, will graduate enjoy. and they will, they will also be helpful. Now let me tell you, it is so blessed if you go in a home and you find your husband has educated all his siblings mm. and you don't have an uncle who is coming to beg. And so if they can be supported and educated, you will be a very lucky in-law, yes. you know, because the uncles are okay, your children's uncles will be okay, they will be able to support them and life will be good. We will go for a short break and within this short break we are going to do uh, a health recipe. These things that help us as marriage in the home to keep our marriages very good and uh, our, our lives very healthy. Now some of you go and uh, buy a lot of processed juices, you don't want to do this. Last week we shared a recipe that you can prepare and for the whole week you, you, you just keep uh, taking uh, from, from the freezer. Today we are going to share another health recipe that you can do as a woman in, in the home that will create a source of responsibility and create a healthy family around you. Join me as we make this recipe. See you after the break. Welcome to our health tips in marriage and life stories with Kansime. So today we are going to make a, a blood cleaning recipe, something that removes the mucus this mucus that has become too much for people in these times of COVID. And it is a simple recipe that we need to, to get used to making in our own houses. It's antibacterial, antifungal, but it also removes that mucus. They call it flame, flame from the liver, from the blood, because in most cases it is that mucus that kills the people. Whether with COVID or whether with something else, let's... Um, Let's learn to be healthy. Let's learn to have these recipes in the home. And for today, we are using uh, pineapple. I already chopped it to save our time. These are pineapple slices, cubes. I, I, I cut it in cubes for easy blending. Okay. And pineapple goes very well with the, with the mint. So this is mint, very fresh from the garden. This is rosemary, very good for memory uh, and uh, calming the body and it also has antibac antibacterial and antifungal properties. So we put them in. Then we have our garlic. Now remember, every time we pick bacteria from out there, so we using garlic is an excellent way of having antibiotics uh, time and again. So we are going to chop this carrot in cubes so that it can easily be blended. My hands are already washed. These vegetables are washed uh, with salt, water and vinegar so that we do not have infections from unclean and clean uh, plant supplies. So these ones are already clean. So like that. So we we'll have them in. The last one I will put in. I will put in two pieces of, of uh, pepper. Now these are very key in in activating. When they combine with the bromelain in here, they create something that, an enzyme that, uh, that helps us to rid our body of, of mucus. And so we're adding uh, a, a, a bottle of glass of water. This serving is actually for the whole family because there will be like, uh, two, three glasses, and everyone, if you're taking it as a medicine, because of that paper that we put in, you should be taking half a glass in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening for the whole family. So instead of making so many other things that do not build our bodies, let's do things the right way. On a daily basis, we have to treat ourselves without medicine. We should treat ourselves with food, and uh,
now we didn't blend in the lemon so we squeeze the lemon in uh, carefully okay, without touching so much the lemon will add in the vitamin C but it will also enhance the properties of those things that are that are in the juice Okay, that's our rich, our rich juice. continue sieving let's look at the finished product which is medicine with all the ingredients to kill cancer cells to you know to manage the growth of, of blood cells in the body to clean your blood and to cause the mucus to come out of the body I'll test it mm. it tastes heavenly let's keep our health better let's manage our, our, our children's health better and let's live a, a healthy lifestyle bless it uh, welcome back from our health recipe uh, break i hope you enjoyed the the, the process and, and, and the juices that we made and uh, we look forward to having very healthy homes now just like our guests our guest Mrs. Shemiriwe reminded us about living, how we can live in harmony. I want to bring this to your attention. That when you talk about a man and you know his home, you have really removed a crown from them. You have exposed them as not so good people. Now, once the crown is removed from the head of the, of the man, which makes him a king, you too are no longer a queen. Because when he has no crown as a king, you are also not a queen. So we need to learn to cover up in prayer. When the things have not been okay, pray. And be patient, be patient with everyone. Be humble in this home that you have gone in. Just learn to be, to, to take notes and understand how they operate. And even if there is a change you need to bring, bring it in in a subtle manner, gently, without forcing. Your character will win all these people around you to honor you, to respect you. And when all these things are done, these are people who are your children's uncles and aunties and grandparents. You want them to be positive about the generation that is coming and for you to be able to, to for the blessings to keep coming. So let's treat our in-laws with a lot of respect, with humility, with gentleness, and if there is something that we feel we cannot stand and we've talked about it and it doesn't change, there are things you can choose to keep away from. I thank you so much for joining me for this show. I wish you a happy and harmonious relationship with your in-laws. And God being our helper, we will have a generation that is unbreakable, that is uh, connected to the grandchildren, to the great-grandchildren, and life will be good to us. For that is the way God wants us to live. God bless you. See you next time. Continue watching Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime and let us grow together. Blessings. <laughs>